Hey guys, Mike Chen, and today I'm about to embark on an epic buffet adventure. I heard about this all-you-can-eat lobster seafood buffet here in Seoul. It's a new buffet. Not a lot of people know about this place. I don't even think a lot of locals know about this place. But this place, all-you-can-eat snow crab, Dungeness crab, sushi, sashimi, uni. So that's for dinner in a little bit. Cannot wait to try this place out. And before hitting out, I just want to give a big thank you and shout out to the sponsor of this video, Surfshark VPN. Surfshark VPN is one of the few apps I I keep running on my phone, on my laptop, 24 hours a day, and here's why. Nowadays, there's just so many people trying to gain access to your personal information, from data aggregators trying to collect to sell to marketing companies, or people with more malicious intent trying to gain access to something like your email. And this is where Surfshark VPN gives me peace of mind. Because what a VPN is, is a virtual private network. And what Surfshark VPN does is that it secures and encrypts your personal information before it goes over the internet. So people who you don't want having access to your private information, they're not gonna have access to it. Like what I mentioned about your email, Surfshark has something called Surfshark Alerts. So when someone is trying to gain access to something like your email, you will be notified right away. Especially when you travel a lot. Most of the time at places like airports, train station, cafes, you're gonna connect to a local hotspot and that hotspot is not gonna be secure at all. And those are really great opportunities for people to gain access to your private information. So Surfshark VPN secures all of that. It hides your IP. It's incredibly fast. It just runs in the background. Also, if you're traveling abroad and you wanna have normal access to US websites or US streaming services, you can use Surfshark VPN to change your location from wherever you are back to the US so you don't miss your favorite movies or TV shows. And a lot of major US websites don't function correctly when you're trying to access it from outside of the US. So even just to pay my bills, I use Surfshark VPN for that. My favorite part is so affordable. So if you want to give it a try, go to my link down below, use my promo code Dumpling. You'll get 83% off your order plus three additional months for free. That's peace of mind for less than a cup of coffee a day. All right, it's going to take me about an hour to get to this place. Let's go check it out. Now, I've been to a lot of all-you-can-eat seafood buffets, lobster buffets, crab buffets all around the world. I think I might have found the best, most luxurious, beautiful lobster, crab, crustacean buffet on the face of this planet. It's located on the 52nd floor of the Trade Center here in Seoul, and it is jaw-droppingly beautiful. As soon as you walk in, you see the giant windows facing over the city. You get a beautiful look at the Han River. Let's take a look around because there's so much going on here. As soon as you walk in, you see a fish tank full of lobster and clam. And some of these lobsters are giant. And then right next to it is this ice display of crab and lobster. And these lobsters are fresh as you can get. There's a raw bar, beef tartare, salmon, truffle, scallops, crab, lobster, cocktail, red prawn. Jumbo shrimp, carpaccio, lobster tartare. Next to that, the salad bar, Greek salad, Caesar salad, giant oysters, Belgian caviar. Next, cooked dishes like lasagna, salmon, snow crab, paella. And you can get anything you want from the grill, which has lobster tails, scallops, prawns, and all different cuts of steaks. And then we'll take down the hallway into the next section. Look at this, wine island. This is where you get your Wagyu. And I've never seen this before. All you can eat uni on the buffet. There's also sea urchin roll, salmon roll, monkfish liver, all sorts of different sushi, sashimi, lobster, tuna, tuna belly, what the heck? Already made dishes like sea cucumber, clam with oyster sauce, Sichuan shrimp. You can get prepared dishes like garlic lobster, chili lobster, there's ginger crab, there's butter crab. We haven't even covered the desserts yet. 
real authentic gelato. Melons, mangoes, grapes. Like I said, overwhelming. This is the craziest buffet I've ever seen in my life. So they only have one seating a night. Starting at six, goes till nine o'clock. Three hours, you get as much as you want. And as soon as you sit down, you get a welcome dish of steamed crab, steamed lobster. Again, this is all fresh. Like none of this is frozen. I never seen a live lobster buffet outside of Rhode Island before. All the lobster buffets I've been to, except for the Nordic Lodge in Rhode Island has been frozen lobster. Not just fresh, fresh as you can get. This is how they welcome you. As soon as you walk in, sit down, you get a plate of fresh lobster. And this one in particular. It's got a umami filled innards and this has been sitting on my table for about 15 minutes while I was looking, admiring the buffet. Mm. Still so sweet. There's the best stuff right here. All that roll and innards. Duck that is some butter. Yeah, that's a sweet lobster. Look at that, fresh, glistening snow crab meat. Drizzle some butter on that. Everything is just so sweet. Yeah, right here. They leave all that nice joint meat, look at that. Mm. There's just so much to try. The way they're preparing these dishes is not like a buffet. Each dish is like a special course that's being served to someone. So nothing is mass produced. There's so much attention to detail. Beef tartare with caviar on top. A little bit of toast. Truffle on this as well. Melt in your mouth. Earthy and fragrant with a nice umami kick from the caviar. Scallops. Wow. Quality of these dishes unparalleled. Just the most succulent, tender, sweet scallops. A little bit of acid, tons of flavor. Look at this, salmon with avocado, a little tomato on top. Mm. Freshness is key at this place. Not just the seafood, the veg, the tomatoes. Melting your mouth, salmon. There's a little lobster and crab salad. Mm. Whitefish ceviche. This is a really complex tasting ceviche. There's a lot of spices in here. Almost tastes like a cross between a ceviche and a curry. It's like a red prawn pancake. Mm. A little smokiness. I think there's some paprika on here. And that prawn is just pure succulent sweetness. Sprata with some melon. Mm. And some truffle oil. Earthy and sweet. Round three. Round, start with some lobster ceviche. Mm. And some grapefruit mixed in as well. Citrusy and sweet. Maple salmon, look at this. This has definitely been sitting out too long. Really, really dry. I love what they're trying to do with this though. There's a caramelized maple-y layer on the top of that salmon. So it's got a subtle sweet crunch. It's delicious, the flavor is really good. Just try. Snow crab paella. Oh, this is good. You can taste all that umami filled kani miso cooked into this paella, along with crispy seaweed. Mm. This is just off the hook. A little spoonful of caviar. Mm. Savory, creamy, a little brininess. That's just a spoonful of pure oceany flavor. Lasagna. Mm. Cheesy, meaty. It's a filling dish, but that's really, really good. I'm so excited for the next one. I am absolutely obsessed with clam chowder. Whenever I see clam chowder, I always get it. And look at the amount of clams in this chowder. Holy moly. Mm. Every bite you take, it's pretty much a mouthful of clams. And that's a really, really good thing. It's not as thick as some of the clam chowder I've had in the US, but I like the crunch of all the different vegetables they added in here. That is a clam-tastic clam chowder. One last seafood item I haven't tried is the crab cake. It's a really good crab cake, pretty much all crab. Same thing with the salmon. It's been sitting out for too long, so it's a little tough on the outside, but that is a phenomenal crab cake. Get it when it's fresh, 
blow your mind. There's a grill section next to the seafood section where you just place your order. You can have lobster tail or scallops or shrimp, three different cuts of steak, and you place your order, tell them your table number, and they bring it right over to you. And while I'm waiting for that, let's go on the other side. Next up, a plate of sashimi. Like I said, I've never seen uni on a buffet before, and they got multiple types of it. There's salmon roll, there's monkfish liver, all super expensive stuff. Tuna. Mm. Melt in your mouth, tuna. Look at this. Fresh wasabi salmon roll over some rice. Popping little pearls of pure umami. Fatty tuna. That's just melting your mouth. Pure awesomeness. I also got abalone, sweet shrimp, some sea bass, yellowtail. Oh, also lobster. Mm. Oh, that sweet shrimp is so good. I think it's so sweet. Oh, that is a creamy, creamy uni. Two different types. This one is more golden. It's sweeter as well. I think the other one had more flavor. Monkfish liver. It's just the richest, most buttery thing. No fishiness to it whatsoever. We got a futong maki, dunk it in the chipotle sauce. Crunchy, fresh, pretty much every texture and flavor you want. It's all wrapped up in there. A yubu maki. Fresh fish on the inside, wrapped in a gorgeous, smoky, chewy tofu skin. This place also has tempura, and you can get whatever you want. So I got some tempura scallops. Mm. And beef, perfect. Subtle crunch on the outside. With that sweet scallop enveloped in the middle. Beef is awesome too. Next up, the orders I placed came. Grilled lobster tail, grilled scallops, and also different cuts of steak. Scallops grilled to absolute perfection. That's about as perfect of a serious caliber as you can get. Sweet, juicy, melt in your mouth, tender scallops. Look at this grilled lobster tail. Heck to the yeah. Oh my gosh. Sweet, smoky, and juicy. And a ton of juice. Look at the steak. So there's hanger steak, chuck flap, and New York strip. Beautifully cooked. Perfect medium rare. Oh my gosh. Tender, bursting with juice. The New York strip. These are high quality cuts of beef. Even the strip steak melt in your mouth. They're all seared so well, so all the juice is locked inside with a side of asparagus. The steak is absolutely perfect. I got two of the lobsters. This is the chili lobster, and this is the garlic lobster. Little crumbles on top, flakes of crispy garlic. Each serving you get is a half a lobster, which is great. Now you get to try all the different flavors. Beautiful, crispy shell. I'm gonna scoop some of the crumbles and garlic from the bottom. I love it when buffets do something different with the lobster and the seafood. Instead of only just steaming it or grilling it, this thing, the garlic pairs so well with that uber sweet lobster meat. And look at this, it's made with spiny lobster. So two different types of lobster on this buffet as well, with chili sauce on the outside. Mm. A little more savory than the main lobster. Just as tender. Goes really well with the chili sauce. It's not a lot of heat, but it really does highlight the sweetness of the lobster. Check this out. Shabu with what looks like A5 Wagyu beef. Look at the marbling on this beef. So freaking perfect. Dunk it into the yolk. Absolutely. Now sing your mouth. Rich, buttery beef, and the taste is even richer. And it becomes even richer when you dunk it into that velvety, runny egg yolk. This buffet has everything. Everything you could possibly want. Two last savory items. They also have made to order stir fried Dungeness crab. So the two Dungeness crab flavors are ginger and butter. This is the butter. Get a nice tender joint. It's creamy, it's buttery, a lot of garlic in here. Everything just complements that sweet flavor of the crab and the ginger crab. Oh, the ginger crab's so good. Taste the wake, taste that subtle flavor of the ginger. All the different flavors of Dungeons Crab. Just depends on what you like. Not a single bad flavor. I think I tried every single savory item 
that's on this buffet. I'm gonna finish up the crab and go grab some dessert. The desserts they get from a place called Cafe de Lyon, French puff pastry with cream in the center. And all sorts of different flavors of gelato. I got some pistachio, rice, also apple, mango. Mm. Oh, that's really good. Rich, velvety, really creamy gelato. I think that rice flavor is my favorite. Mm. It's a really rich and decadent chocolate ganache cake. That's very good too. Not a huge dessert selection, but what they do have is really quality stuff. I don't know exactly when they open, but as of right now, I don't even think a lot of locals know about this place. But this is an absolutely exquisite buffet experience. If you love seafood, that is. I mean, if you don't like seafood, wouldn't really recommend it because it's about 90% seafood on the menu. But if you love seafood, especially if you love lobster, you love sushi, sashimi, you'll want to be part of this buffet experience. Like I said, in the beginning, not a lot of lobster buffets, crab buffets in the world that serves fresh lobster, fresh crab. They even have a video I see them playing of them flying the lobster here from Maine, I think. But everything they serve is about as fresh as they come and tons of items I've never seen other buffets. Some you rarely see like caviar, uni, I've never seen. And the price is 200 US dollars. They don't go by Korean currency here. So it's 200 US dollars per person. In my opinion, it is so worth it. Keep in mind, if you go to a lobster buffet, in the US. For example, Nordic Lodge. I think that's about $150 a person, and you're definitely not getting as much variety of seafood as you will here. Not even close. And after tax and gratuity, that's gonna be over $200 a person. I mean, even this pastry, if you buy from this cafe, it's about $6 a pop. Plus, if you're not drinking alcohol, all you can drink sodas, juices, sparkling water, all that's included. And I think you can see that this is, there's nothing like this in the world. At least not one I've been to yet. South Korea definitely takes the crown for the best lobster seafood buffet in the world. I mean, this is both the most expensive buffet in South Korea and the most worth the buffet in South Korea. And I'm gonna put the information for this place down below for you guys. Thank you all so much for watching. Until we eat again.